welcome. I've been expecting you. So, come on. I'm sorry, but does anyone else think she just looks like Jay from the Inbetweeners? <laughs> Willie's chocolate experience in Glasgow. Yeah, completed it, mate. Great news. We have the script that was written by AI that was given to the actors. Also, quick shout out to at Shockproof Beats on Twitter. I've linked their Twitter page in the description below. They're the ones who tweeted out this script, so thank you for that. Audience members engage with the interactive flowers, offering compliments to which the flowers respond with pre recorded whimsical thank yous. Just a reminder the flowers. Bruh. Wonka Doodle One. <laughs> Wonka Doodle. Wonka Doodle is what I do when I'm drawing. To a guest. Oh, and if you see a butterfly, whisper your sweetest dream to it. There are official secret keepers and dream carriers of the garden. Willie McDuff! Ah, my old street name. Gathering everyone's attention. You will with a name like that. Now, I must ask, has anyone seen the elusive bubble bloom? It's a rare flower that blooms just once every blue moon and fills the air with shimmering bubbles. The stage crew discreetly activates bubble machines, <laughs> filling the area with bubbles, causing excitement and wonder among the audience. Wonka Doodle 2. You right, mate? Any acting gigs lately? Yeah, mate. Wonka Doodle 2. Pretending to catch bubbles. Quick, each bubble holds a whisper of enchantment. Catch one and make a wish. All you have to do is believe. As the bubble catching frenzy continues, remember, in the garden of enchantment, every moment is a chance for magic. Every corner hides a story, and every bubble catches a bubble, holds a dream. He opens his hand, and the bubble gently pops, releasing a small twinkling light that ascends into the rafters, <laughs> leaving the audience in awe. How are they planning on doing all this again? This is the West End. Willie McDuff with warmth. With warm. <laughs> what a stage direction. My dear friends, take this time to explore, to laugh and to dream. For in this garden, the magic is real and the possibilities are endless. And who knows, the next wonder you encounter may just be around the next bend. Scene ends with the audience fully immersed in the interactive. I love how there's stage directions for the audience. Laughter and joy filling the air as Willie McDuff and the Wonka Doodles continue to engage and delight with their enchanting antics and treats. I don't want to know what Willie McDuff's treats are. What kind of enchant- what kind of antics is a guy called Willie McDuff up to? Transition to the bubble and lemonade room. Suddenly brightening Willie McDuff. Speaking of light spirits, I find myself quite parched after our unexpected adventure. What does that mean? But fortune smiles upon us. But just beyond this door lies a room filled with refreshments most delightful. The bubble and lemonade room from Tesco Value. You get a quarter cup each with a flourish. Willie opens a previously unnoticed door. I can't believe I'm sat in my room reading this shit. Revealing a room where the air sparkles with floating bubbles and rivers of sparkling lemonade flow freely. How are they planning on doing this in a warehouse in Glasgow? Willie McDuff. Here, my dear guests, you may quench your thirst with lemonade that fizzes and dances on the tongue and chase bubbles that burst with flavours unimaginable. I reckon they could have cast me. I reckon I'd have done a good job at being over the top with this. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that. Reverse it. A toast to adventures shared and friendships forged in the heart of the unknown. The unknown. The audience, now relieved and rejuvenated by the whimsical turn of events, follows Willie into the bubble and lemonade room. Laughter and chatter filling the air once more as they immerse themselves in the joyous bubbly wonderland. And let's not forget our secret inventions, the soup flavoured jelly beans designed to keep the wee ones clean, hot and spicy beans that lowers his voice, attract the birds. <laughs> so imagine when midway through he just does that. Designed to keep the wee ones clean, hot, spicy beans that attract the birds. <laughs> Winks. That's a story for another day. Or perhaps a question for your parents. Parents gonna have enough questions. The audience chuckles appreciating the playful innuendo. Ah, and my favourite, the boogerberry bean. Freshly made from Grandpa's old crusty hanky, a taste that's, well, let's just say, uniquely exquisite. The guests exchanged amused and slightly apprehensive glances. <laughs> it's the stage directions of how they anticipate the audience to be as the best. Winnie McDuff, confused. What? What happened? Did anyone else feel a chill? I got chills. He looks around, feigning ignorance of the unknown's presence. You all look as if you've seen a ghost. Oh my what is that? It's the unknown. Or perhaps you're just feeling a bit white tea. Huh? Ah. 
Laughter breaks the tension as Willie reassures the audience with a wink and a smile, subtly dismissing the ominous threat of the unknown as nothing more than a monumentary illusion. <laughs> You're all just high, all right? Just don't worry. You're all just hallucinating, okay? Don't panic. It's just what we've given you. You think you're seeing right now? You're not really seeing. No, no. It's an illusion. Black light illusion. No, no. Beckoning the guests inside. Now, who among you dares to taste the fruits of our imagination? Just all the kids there, like... Step right up and prepare for a flavour adventure unlike any other. The guests eagerly approach a table laden with the described sweets. Each picking their choice with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Guest one, trying the soup flavoured jelly bean. Is he a plant? It's like dinner in a dessert. Astonishing. Guest two, braving the boogerberry bean. Oh wow, it's oddly... Gorgeous. How is that possible? Laughter and surprised exclamations fill the room as the guests indulge in their whimsical treats. Willie Macduff with a serious expression. My dear adventurers, we stand on the precipice of a discovery most wondrous and perilous. For within these ancient walls of this warehouse in Glasgow lurks a tale not yet told of an evil chocolate maker known only as the Unknown. Can you be known as the Unknown? The audience leans in, captivated by Willie's words. This fiendish foe has long coveted one of the most cherished creations, the anti-graffiti gobstopper. What? Well then isn't his main foe Banksy? A marvel of confectionery science designed to aid, oh, not just any soul, but the tireless guardians of cleanliness, our beloved mums, and yes, dads too, but especially mums, for the endless scourge of dirty socks strewn about by youthful adventurers. Remember women do all the cleaning, I think. Who's playing Willie McDuff? Barry Scott? Remember me, Barry Scott. Over a million women around the UK are at it. They've replaced their multi-purpose cleaners with Solidbang Universal Degreaser. It's great. I even use it on my pots and pans. Amazing. It's so wonderful. Solidbang Universal Degreaser. Bang, and the dirt is gone. A murmur of amusement and agreement nipples through the nipples. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a murmur of amusement and agreement ripples through the audience. Willie McDuff suddenly freezing mid-sentence, his expression locked in shock. What, was he having a stroke? Silence envelopes the group. The tension is palpable. A figure emerges, cloaked in mystery and malice. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. With a voice both smooth and sinister. How am I going to do that? Hang on. Ah, Willie McDuff and his band of intrepid explorers. I want to play a game. <laughs> you have something I desire. And with your unwitting aid, it shall be mine! <laughs> the anti-graffiti gobstopper will no longer clean your worlds. It will turn them to chaos at my command. Is this how Covid started? The audience gasps. <gasps> Some shifting nervously as the unknown scans the crowd, his gaze landing on a chosen audience member. You there! Yes, you will assist me in acquiring this precious suite. Together, we shall rewrite the rules of cleanliness and order! Matt Hancock in 2020. Willie McDuff holding up the gobstopper. Behold! The combination of imagination and ingenuity, the anti-graffiti gobstopper, a sweet so powerful it can make any room sparkle without lifting a finger. But it seems our friend, the unknown, would rather use it for less tidy purposes. The unknown sneering, that's right Macduff, imagine the chaos, the absolute power of turning tidiness into turmoil, hand it over and I might consider sparing your precious lab. I think what happened here is this is actually a prequel and the unknown won. Hence why we get this just mess of a shit whole event. The audience gasps, tension mounting as the two adversaries stand ready. So imagine them start sword fighting or something, or just start. <laughs> <laughs> Willie McDuff resolute. In the spirit of imagination and the pursuit of joy, I cannot let that happen. If it's a showdown you want, it's a showdown you'll get. Don't fuck with me! I have the power of God and chocolate. Wait, Suddenly the room transforms into a battlefield of lights and lasers. Just remember what this turned out to be. Willie uses a device resembling a futuristic remote, activating traps and illusions around the lab to thwart the unknown's advances. This is a jigsaw game! It actually is! The unknown dodging a beam of light. You think these parlor tricks will stop me? I've come too far to be foiled now. You're gonna come from in the wall. 
He retaliates with his own device, shooting beams of light towards Willy, <laughs> who skillfully evades them using the lab's inventions as shields and counters. Willy McDuff with a twinkle in his eye. It's not about stopping you with tricks, but with creativity. For every dark intention, there's a light of innovation ready to shine through. Willy activates a machine that releases a dazzling display of holographic images, momentarily disorientating the unknown. Seizing the opportunity, Willy sets the anti-graffiti gobstopper into a contraption that amplifies its cleanup capabilities, sending a wave of sparkling cleanliness towards the unknown, neutralizing his device and rendering him harmless. Stumbling, caught in the sparkling wave. No, my... Plans thwarted by tidiness? The guests cheer as the unknown is gently swept up by a robotic vacuum, humorously ending the confrontation. Just bring in that thing from the Teletubbies. Look at that. <laughs> Willie McDuff addressing the audience. And so, my friends, we see that even in the face of darkness, the light of imagination, joy, and a bit of clever cleaning can prevail. Let us remember the greatest adventures and the most enduring victories are those we achieve together. The room lights up, returning to its vibrant state as Willie offers a bow, and the anti gravity gobstopper <laughs> flies off into a ball of light. The anti gobstopper safely in hand. The guests erupt into applause. Go fing mental. Celebrating the triumph of creativity and courage over chaos. Scene ends, thank God, with Willie McDuff and the guests reveling in the success of their imaginative endeavour, reinforcing the power of unity and the endless possibilities that lie within the realms of imagination and innovation. I don't know what happened to me there. Willie McDuff just, just took over me. I'm a method actor at heart. How? Okay. I think we. I. Th I think we should invest in this. I'm in. Right. Try and make this, and I still want it to be shit. Like, try and make this with, like, Poundland items, which is what they're doing anyway. I want to see how they'll make a script that is better than a stage musical into this, in a warehouse, in Glasgow. <laughs> I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. I just want to be the best at what I know Better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go This is my quest, I'ma make it known They call me obsessive, oh I know Call me selective